Hey guys, this is me, Sikh Warrior, and a lot of you guys have been asking, Sikh Paji, what is your live stream settings? Because your live stream quality is way better than any other live streamers I have found on YouTube. So I have decided that I'll make a video explaining all the settings I do and how to optimize it according to your PC or your laptop and get the best quality stream possible from your machine. And before doing that, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like these and gaming content and gaming news and a lot of crazy stuff. So first of all, I use OBS Studio for my streams. I don't use any other software. I have some plugins as well. And I also recommend that you should stream via OBS Studio itself. The link to this software will be in my description box. You can download it from there. So once you have installed the latest version of OBS Studio, you have to hop onto the settings and then go towards stream. There you have to select your service provider where you are streaming, either it's YouTube or Twitch. Now these settings are best optimized for YouTube. So let's focus on our YouTube settings. Then we hop on to output and here we'll select the output mode to advance. Not simple, we'll use advanced because we are going into technicalities. Now for basics, I'll let you know that I use a dual PC setup for my streaming. Now what is a dual PC setup? My gaming PC is different and my streaming PC is different. So my gaming PC sends the gaming footage to my streaming PC via capture card and my streaming PC sends all that data to YouTube. And why do we use dual PC setup? To get the best possible quality of your stream and there should be no load on your gaming PC other than gaming. And also a very good reason for good quality is I play on 2K, I stream on 2K and I have completely stopped playing or streaming on 1080p. And I would suggest you to do the same if you are looking for amazing quality. Because YouTube gives you a premium encoder if you stream at 2K resolution, but it gives you a shittier encoder if you stream at 1080p resolution, which is AVC1. And if you stream on 2K, you'll get VP09 codec. Now, if you game on 1080p, but you want that premium codec, which is VP09, what you can do is you can fool YouTube by upscaling your content to 2K and streaming it on 2K on YouTube. And how you can do it? You have to click on this rescale output option and then you have to select Lancos and you have to select the resolution you want to rescale your output to, which is 2560 by 1440p. If you are streaming on a single PC or a dual PC, but you have a 1080p gaming setup, don't worry, you have to use this for amazing quality streams. Now this setting is sorted. Now we move on to the video encoder setting. Now this is very important. Most of the people are still streaming on NVIDIA NVENC H.264 which is now a very old encoder. Yes, you heard it correct. It was like a new thing when RTX graphic cards came into picture, but then they introduced H.265, which is HEVC, and later they have introduced AV1 encoding, which is now supported by YouTube and Twitch both. So if you have a RTX 40 series graphic card, then you can use AV1 encoding and stream on YouTube with much better resolution with much better performance at a lower bitrate. So personally, I am using an RTX 30 series graphic card, so I won't be able to use AV1, but still I'm getting good quality. Why? Because I use HEVC. So you have to select HEVC here and it will definitely give you a better quality picture. Now you must be thinking, Sikpaji, I am streaming on 2K. What should be my bitrate? No, you don't have to stream on 2500 bitrate. You have to change this. And the upper limit, which YouTube recommends for 2K streaming is 12,000 from 9,000 to 12,000. So we'll take that recommendation into picture and we'll put it 12,000. That's it. And the rate control should always be CBR. We don't use VBR. We don't use lossless. It should be CBR because it will keep up the bitrate constant overall whenever you're streaming. Now let's move on to the next setting. This should be keyframe interval and it should be two seconds. Now why two seconds? Because YouTube recommends two seconds for your live streams. And then comes a very major setting which will affect your stream quality the most. Now this is the preset. Now what should be the ideal option you should select to get the best quality? Now this is something which you can only figure out by doing a trial and error method. Now first of all, you have to select medium. And then we'll see later that if medium quality is like good enough for you 
or your OBS can handle something more or we have to change the setting. We can either go lower, which is low quality, which is fast or lower quality, or we have, we can like improve and your PC has more resources. So you can go slow, slower or slowest. So the best quality of stream will be from slowest. But mind you, this takes huge amount of resources from your streaming PC or your gaming PC if you are using single PC setup. I personally don't recommend using slowest because this will make your encoder overload in no time. So for starters, we'll do medium quality and then we'll come to tuning. Now tuning should be high quality and multi-pass mode should be two passes full resolution. Now these are the settings for the best quality and then we go to profile and here we select main. I don't know why, but YouTube recommends main. So we go main. And then we will take a look ahead and psycho visual tuning because it affects your stream quality a bit and it will make it clearer. Now let's move on to GPU. GPU should always be zero because this is your default GPU which is installed on your PC and it will only use that. And max B frames should be two because YouTube recommends it in their guidelines. That's it. We have completed most of the settings and now we'll hop on to video. Now video should be your base canvas resolution. If you are a 1080p gamer, then this should be 1920 by 1080 and your output scale resolution will be 2K, which is 2560 by 1440p. I play on 2K, so this is same and output scale resolution is also same. But mind you, if you are a 1080p gamer and you are upscaling it, then the quality will not be crisp as if you were streaming or playing both on 2K. Then you will have to select length course here if you are upscaling I'm not upscaling so no filter here and you have to select 60 FPS because we are going to do 2k 60 FPS stream that's it guys that's it now we hit apply and we are good to go now there's one more setting I want you guys to know about now when you are setting up your stream you have to select one option which is stream latency now I personally recommend you should be doing low latency because ultra low latency does not support 2k resolution so you have to do either normal or low latency I personally prefer low latency because this is a perfect balance between reading chat and having one-to-one -one conversation with your audience and having a good quality of stream but if you do normal latency it will give you a little bit better quality of stream with lower buffering on your users with lower buffering on your viewer side but with a little bit of delay and there's also one more setting that you should be changing while setting up your live stream is you have to change your stream key now let me show you how to do it we are not going to use rtmp we are going to use hls Yes, you heard it correct. We are going to change our stream key. And from here, you have to go to this, create new stream key. Instead of RDMP, you have to select HLS, which is something advanced. And then you don't have to do this, turn on manual setting. You just keep it automatic. And then you have to like name the setting. Uh, I'll just name it 2K. Now you have to select that stream key, whichever you have created, HLS 2K. I'll select this and I'll use this key, which I'll copy it from here and put it in my OBS studio to stream. So this is it. You are all set. Now let me give you one last tip. So if you're playing any game and you are streaming as well, and if you see your OBS dropping frames, like it is buffering for your viewers, it is dropping frames. There is an error here in the bottom, which shows encoder overload. That means you have put more load on your encoder and you have to lower your settings to do a better and smoother stream. You have to go to settings, you have to go to output, and then you have to click on the preset and you have to either lower it if there is an error and if there is no error, it's smooth, then we can either go slow, good quality or slower. I think most of you guys are good with medium, but you can try slow if you have a good PC to stream and game on. Now there's one more, one more very important tip that if you are streaming, you should avoid unnecessary browser sources in your streams. I've seen a lot of people using a lot of browser sources for, for small little things and they have put a lot of images, a lot of GIFs, a lot of animations on top of your games. The more graphics you use on top of your game, on top of your streams, the more load you are putting on your OBS studio and on your encoder. And it will give you the error of encoder overload and it will drop your frames and the stream quality will deteriorate if you are putting a lot of graphics. So I recommend whenever you are gaming, 
you keep it very clean and simple no flashy gifs no flashy full screen effects like if somebody subscribes to you there is a full screen effect you should avoid that if you don't have a good pc you should avoid that and you should keep it plain and simple once you upgrade to a beast pc your pc can handle stuff then you can put all those resources those browser sources but for starters keep it minimal keep it plain and simple and you'll have a better quality stream i can guarantee you that so this is it guys you got the best possible setting for live streaming in 2k on youtube and this should be the final video you have to watch before setting your live streams up and if you enjoyed this video and you found it useful hit the like button and subscribe for more amazing informative content gaming content live streams like these and follow on instagram as well we post a lot a lot of good gaming news that you want to hear and all the links are in the description box as well and if you have any doubt with these settings if you are getting confused with anything you can write it in the comment section till then take care i'll catch you on my live streams bye bye